The Salem Witch Trials of 1692 From church politics to ergot poisoning, the causes of the Salem Witch Trials have been hotly debated since 1692. The Salem Witch Trials of 1692 led to 200 accusations of witchcraft and 20 executions. In 1692, the quiet Puritan settlement of Salem, Massachusetts descended into madness when its residents suddenly began accusing each other of witchcraft. Now known as the Salem Witch Trials, this phenomenon would go on to become the largest witch hunt in American history. But what caused the Salem Witch Trials in the first place? Between 1692 and 1693, more than 200 people were accused of practicing witchcraft in Salem, and 20 were executed. Since then, the Salem Witch Trials have fascinated and perplexed scholars like few other episodes in American history. However, some men were also put to death during the Salem Witch Trials. So even though gender played a role in the Salem Witch Trials, it couldn't have been the only factor. One theory suggests that the Native American Wars may have contributed to the hysteria that took hold in Salem in 1692. So it's been suggested that watching those attacks may have caused some post-traumatic stress, which might have played a role in inspiring these accusations in the first place. Historian Mary Beth Norton believes that the Native American Wars may have impacted the trials in another way. She suggests that the accusation and execution of ex-minister George Burroughs, who led a number of failed military campaigns against the Native Americans, indicates that town officials were trying to shift blame for their own inadequate defense of the frontier onto supernatural causes. Alleged witches underwent brutal tests in Salem, including being stripped and examined for any strange blemishes. The witch trials began in early 1692 after nine-year-old Betty Paris and her 11-year-old cousin Abigail Williams began to exhibit some strange behavior. That's why some believe that their involvement in these forbidden activities, and a combination of guilt and fear they felt from participating in them, may have been the real cause of their strange behavior. An alleged witch is led to her execution in Salem, Massachusetts. Some of the first people who accused others of being witches in Salem were very young girls. Of course, it wasn't just young people who were making claims about alleged witches. But the fact that their accusations were so prominent early on have led some to believe that simpler teenage angst may have been a factor that led to the Salem Witch Trials. In the book Entertaining Satan, Witchcraft and the Culture of Early New England, John Putnam explores the idea that the Witch Trials were essentially a teenage rebellion against the Puritan authority of the older generation. After all, most of the people accused of being witches were adults. If teen angst truly inspired young women to make these accusations, then these feelings could have very well stemmed from the patriarchal oppression of the time. Some feminist historians have interpreted the Salem Witch Trials as just another way that the patriarchy persecuted women who acted in ways that were different from the accepted social norms of the time. As was the case with many similar witch hunts in Europe, Women were the primary targets of accusation during the Salem Witch Trials, particularly women who acted unusually for the era. While the exact cause of the Salem Witch Trials remains contested, there is almost no doubt that underlying social forces played a role. While many victims were hanged during the Salem Witch Trials, some faced even more brutal executions. It may sound strange, but cold weather has been suggested as a potential cause of the Salem Witch Trials. In her paper, Oster points out that the most active era of witchcraft trials in Europe and other places coincided with a 400-year period of lower than average temperatures. The most active period of the witchcraft trials, mainly in Europe, coincides with a period of lower than average temperature known to climatologists as the Little Ice Age, Oster wrote. On top of that, many people at the time believed that witches were able to control the weather and destroy crops. 
While mass hysteria is usually associated with the time that the trials were happening, some have proposed that it may have caused them as well. Regardless, it's a compelling theory that can't easily be discounted as a rational explanation for what caused the Salem Witch Trials. University of Hawaii Oakert, a fungus sometimes used to create LSD, can be found on rye and wheat under the right conditions. In the 1970s, a truly wild theory about the cause of the Salem Witch Trials took off, hallucinogenic fungi. But it may also offer an explanation for the symptoms of people who were bewitched in Salem. Interestingly enough, the weather conditions in Salem during the winter of 1691 to 1692 were just right for ergot to grow. But is it really possible that something like ergot poisoning could have caused the Salem witch trials? Ultimately, we may never know for sure what caused the Salem witch trials.